Juan Luciano Canzanella here from the Bitcoin's Profit Academy. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the treasure. Okay, I finally just got my treasure. It just arrived, um, as you know from my uh, my session on wallets. Treasure is the the most trusted hardware wallet among few others. Okay. And because today is a special day, so today is the 31st <clears throat> of July 2017. Tonight at midnight, the SegWit and the fork will be implemented. So a lot of us miners, Bitcoiners and everything are waiting for this implementation to go live. So a lot of people, they're trying to get uh, their Bitcoins out of uh, online wallets. I have several, so that's why I'm happy that I got this today, because today is I'm going to take all my Bitcoins out of my wallet, put them in this cold storage, and stash them away until everything is up and uh, ready to go in the next few days, which could be, you know, 2nd of August, 3rd of August. <clears throat> Most of the online wallets are safe anyhow. I'm just doing this video because I have received the treasure, so... It is funny that I just got it today. I ordered this like a couple of weeks ago, but because I'm in, in Panama, it took a while to arrive. So I just want to start with these, uh, uh, this description. Like, first of all, this one is made in Europe, as you can see, made in Europe, okay? Um, all the information are in English, and you also, also say that the treasure is new, okay? Um, and uh, as you can see from the box, the box is sealed. It's plastic sealed everywhere. And it's got two locks sealed at the back. So they even say if this package is not arriving like that to contact support immediately. Um, so this is what we are going to do. Now I'm going to pause in several times this video because I'm going to switch back and forth between my screen and the computer screen and when the treasure arrives. So I just want to give you um, the heads up when it comes to this. Okay. And uh, let's open the package. I'm going to pause it now for a second. So now I've removed the plastic envelope and cut the seals. As you can see, the seals have been cut on both sides. However, the box is still glue. So this is a really good indication when, you know, then the box is really, really, really tightly packed. Um, so that shows you how secure these guys want it to be. Okay, so now the box is finally open. It came out, since you can see it took quite a while to, to get this open. And so the, the first thing that comes out is this little guy here. It's a little protection. You got this cable, then it's probably 12 to 15 centimeters. So it's not big, but it's good enough to connect to your USB. We got the, the two cards for your seeds word so that you can put once you set up your 24 uh, seeds word you can save it you know in a secure place you got two of those you got a little keychain thing so you can secure your treasure you got some stickers they even give you some stickers some black and some white okay so i'm gonna put all this stuff away and then here's the treasure itself I'm going to remove the, the plastic out of it for the protection plastic. Just start that away. So here, here is actually the treasure. This is the, you know, at the moment it's not lit because it needs to be uh, ready to go. And now I need to figure out how am I going to do this for you guys. As I need, I probably I'm going to take another longer cable so that I can point it over when I'm doing things to you. Okay, just going to pause again and I'll see you in a second. As you can see, I have just started the treasure. It says 
Welcome, please wait, Tracer will start, okay. So the screen might flicker a little bit on your recording, but that's just because it is syncing with the, the frequency rate of the screen with the recording. So if it flicks, don't worry about it. This is just uh, is happening on a recording when you record another screen, but uh, otherwise it is totally clear. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna trying to go to their website, which is a tracer.io forward slash start. So now we're back. So we finally um, put the address tracer.io forward slash start, forward slash start. Um, and first things it does, it brings you to this page. It says, thank you, finally you're in your ends, I mean your devices arrive and now you have three simple steps before you set up your devices. So here it shows a little bit of how PIN works, okay, and uh, the, the the way the PIN works, once you decide your PIN, the number on your treasure will be shuffled every time. So they do that so people doesn't remember as well as a sequence. Just this is extra security layers then they put on top of it so that you can be more secure because this is the place where you're gonna store all your um, your BTC, which is you know some people use it to high amounts, so there's a lot of money. Um, and the second things that tells you is a little paragraph that explains about understands the recovery seeds and the 24 Lord, the 24 words long recovery phrase, and um, we will show you that in a second as well. Then he's asking you if you want to stay updated for important news. I put one of my email address and uh, subscribe and continue. Then he brings you to the warrant information. And so you click on that and a new page is going up. And then it's basically the official limited warrant and refined policy. Something you might want to look at it as well. And then it says done, let's go. And let's go load the trains of wallet is starting. And so what it does here now, it brings you to a page where you can install either the Chrome extension or you can download as well the bridge, which is the little software that comes with uh, the Trezor. I'm going to actually start downloading this Trezor bridge, which I'm going to install in a, in a second. But I'm also going to install the Chrome extension. I'm trying to do both. Um, so, and it's actually downloading the, the extension as you guys can see. Um, okay, so now the Tells you that the Chrome has just been added. It's time to install the firmware. The security reason Trezor is shipped without firmware installer. This is to ensure that your firmware will be up to date at the time of initialization. The authenticity of the installation firmware is checked during startup. If the firmware does, was not provided by Satoshi Lab, the device will display a warning when you start. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so basically, this device doesn't have the 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 firmware. So now, when I'm going to click yes to install, it's going to actually tell me then update for please unplug your device. So here it tells me that I need to continue. And actually, it's installing. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it. He's actually installing the hardware things. It is telling me then the the hardware has been installed. And that fingerprint it was display on the device, okay. And now it says then I can unplug my treasure, which I'm gonna do so. 
Now that I've unplugged, it says to update the firmware, just connect to the device, plug in while holding both the device button press. So I need to press both button and plug the back in. He's asking, do you want to update your device from air caching in your Trezor as no be I'm doing this for the first time myself live with you guys. And so as you can see from the change log, they have a stable release, they've enabled the SegWit for testnet and Litecoin, and enabled the ERC-20 token for Ethereum chain. And this is the latest. So I'm gonna say yes, update. And here he says continue and is updating the firmware again as you can see. It's installing. And I can confirm then yes the fingerprint is correct. I'm gonna blur this information out so you guys cannot really see it. Uh, this is private to me. I just wanted to let you know that it's there. Now this update was successful, even on my Tracer. Okay. You might now unplug your Tracer again, so I just do it. And now here it gives me the message, you see, as you can see in green, right here, connect the Tracer to continue. It's got a lock on it. Go to my tracer to start. So now we're gonna give her a, a device label name. And I'm gonna stop there because I'm gonna put her a unique name and I don't want you guys to see it. So now then I have um, then I have um, um, put my my device name um, is asking me to put a pin and now as you can see from the pin here on the tracer the numbers are shuffled and it's going to continue to shuffle until I set up this pin so now let's say I want to set up a pin that is uh, six digit okay I will have to put the numbers then are on this screen and you have to pick up the correct location of these numbers. You can see these nine squares and the numbers are shuffled. They're not like one, two, three, four, five, all the way to six to nine, they're shuffled. So when I put my pin, I will have to follow where is the number of that pin. If I've chosen a six digit pin and I'm gonna click enter now it's asking me again to verify my pin and as you can see it shuffle again so now I need to put my pin again using the new shuffle sequence I just done so. Now on your tracer, you will show you unique a unique combination of twenty four words, which allow you to recover your account in case you lose your device. The order of the word is very important. Please write down as word that never make a digital copy of your recovery seed and never upload it online. Be keep your record dates basically tell you just to be careful. So I'm not going to show you this part because the words are starting uh, showing up on my tracer screen. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little card here and I'm going to start writing the word down one by one. Okay. Um, I might post this because this is a lengthy process. Okay. I'm. Um, I'm. 
I just post this video and just want to come back quickly and I'm still doing I'm on word 16 17 and I'm writing it down on your screen apart the word on the bottom you'll see the word next you click next on the button and every time you release the new word okay so now is asking to reconfirm those words so he's repeating again the sequence of the word and I just need to double check if the first word then repeat is gonna match the one I wrote it down and as you can see if I click the now the next it's gonna say please check the second word so I'm going to uh, keep this live with you guys I know it's gonna be boring for a little bit but you guys are gonna see that I'm checking these back uh, you know I'm I'm reconfirming all the word please be patient for a minute And here we are already at the first 12. There is another 12 to go. And that's the last one and then you should hit the there is a, a button on your right this is finish I'm gonna click on that so now um, I have to enter the pin there again okay and actually you guys can even see my my device name which I'm gonna change in a bit later on so now I'm gonna put my new pin again the one I had in, in the earlier And because they're shuffle you guys will never know so this is another sequence so if I if people see that I'm doing this online people can guess what is the number you can never guess where because the numbers are shuffled as you can see uh, I have right now set up my tracer and I can your device is now ready to use and I can receive payment. Let me say reload. Okay, I can send payment. I can sign and verify. Okay, so actually right now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to um, do a small transaction to test this out. And let me just pause it and retake that in a second. So another cool feature that I found, and this is here on the, when you go to the actual device, uh, it is the home screen. You can upload your own logo. It's actually I just I didn't find. I was passing around while I was waiting to make uh, this uh, video a little bit better. And so I have uploaded my own image with uh, with the logo of the Bitcoin Profit account. And it's not going to look great for the moment, but I'm going to try to to get a better one and then upload it. But it's got some cool little feature in there. You can uh, um, you can put even just a Bitcoin wallet and so forth, the Bitcoin and so forth. So I'm going to choose this guy here, and in this hour is going to show and it's going to set it on the home screen. And now he's asking me again to. To confirm what I did is correct and I'm gonna put my secret code
Now it says confirm the action on your travel device. And here the message say, do you really want to change the home screen? And you say that, and I'm going to say yes, confirm, and voila, I have the logo on my little treasure. This is now officially a Bitcoin Profit Academy treasure, okay? Um, doesn't look that great, the, the, I think this is limited. At least I know, and you guys know, that this is what it looks like. It's got the B and the little logo so it's us um, so if I go to account and I do receive now we're gonna start I'm gonna post this again and I'm gonna do that my first transaction And as you can see, I've just done my first transaction from one of my wallet. Uh, I have a wallet that is on uh, mycelium uh, and it had a couple hundred dollars on it. So I just sent it a matter of picking up the code and sending and it's already on my device. Okay, so I mean this is instantaneous. And now of course it's going to have to, um, if I click on my... Sending. Of course, it hasn't confirmed yet, but it's gonna confirm shortly. And so that is that is done. This is one of the transaction I done. I have another wallet somewhere else. So basically, what we're doing today, I'm taking all my uh, bitcoins that I have in several wallets, and I'm gonna put them all in cold storage, and I'm gonna take them offline, just for this upgrade happening between tonight and tomorrow. Um, and so then after the 2nd of August we should be all set. This is just a precautionary um, move. I don't say that everybody needs to do it but I wanted to you know to, to basically use the treasure since I got it today which is the 31st of July. It's an important date in the world of bitcoins and cryptocurrency so that's why I, I took the, the chance to uh, release this video today. And I want to go around and see if I have any other little things that I can show you. So I'm going to just uh, do another browse around. Yeah, so basically today we just have um, done this. I'm going to play more with this device and I'm going <clears> to <throat> really get them inside um, uh, extra features Then I want, uh, you know, to pull out of it. Um, I just wanted to show you today that you can even check um, the transactions you know through the inside website which is an inside basically is a it's a is a blockchain explorer and it tells you the transaction which is unconfirmed uh, and it tells you exactly where in the blockchain is at. Um, so and so this is the fee that I paid this is the my transaction that is coming to me. Um, um, it's just, it's just a, this treasure is going to be a, a, a beautiful thing. Um, and um, as you guys see these, I will uh, basically um, say goodbye for today. This is my little logo that came out today. I really enjoyed setting up this device and, and getting the, the video done for you. Um, don't forget, if you're new to the world of Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoins and cryptocurrency, go check out all the rest of the module inside the Bitcoin Profit Economy. It's completely free. You just log in. Actually, you opt into the page, so you get in our email list. Then you will get directed to a page where you're going to log in. Uh, um, you're going to create an account to log in. And in there, there's going to be tons of videos, tutorials, places that you can check, business opportunity that you can check, um, income opportunities. Uh, this is a place where I do most of my business. And uh, don't hesitate to... You know, reach out to me. There is a chat box right in the middle of the academy. Send me a question. If I'm online, I reply. Otherwise, it gets to my email and I will always reply to you the next 24 hours. Have a good day. Bye bye.